I think much as we differentiate team and teamwork, we can differentiate leader and leadership. My sense is there's too much focus on leader, the position, the title, the person, the place to get the pinnacle of that place, and not enough on leadership as an innate capacity or capability. I think if we start to look at leadership, then we start to realize that leadership has components to it. The ability to see, the ability to commit, to engage others, to execute. Those capabilities and capacity, I would argue, are in all of us. The question then becomes, are you going to be a leader or are you going to build leadership capacity? And that's a very different conversation. And if we take that not at teams, we could say the problem is we always think we need a leader of a team. But what if the team was infused with leadership skills, capability, and capacity and rotated that or shared it so that the team itself was infused with leadership and it could guide itself autonomously? That's what happened in the early days of self-directed work teams is that the leadership component was identified, team leadership or team leader, and it was broken out into parts and spread across the team so that the team itself could self-regulate and self-generate autonomously. And there were huge successes with it, and it didn't require a leader. It did require a facilitator on the outside who could keep the team aligned with organizational, functional vision, mission, goals, objectives, but it didn't require the nominal role of leader.